Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We all know how frustrating it gets to see keyframes like this. So we are going to install a plugin which is going to help us avoid all this mathematical and overwhelming numbers we see here. This will involve three steps which involves us um, installing the plugins which is two plugins uh, we need to get actually. That will be these two which is Motion Bro. All the links will be in the description below. So first of all, we'll need to install Motion Bro here. And secondly, we'll need to install this plugin called AE2SD. So these two plugins would actually help us to avoid all these numbers, mathematical calculations, which is very, very, very intimidating if I should be honest. And let's go for step one, which is when you click on the link below, it should take you to Motion Bro. And uh, when you are here in Motion Bro, all we have to do is install these plugins. So first of all, when we are here, we have two options, either to install with Creative Cloud or manually. And I would say the easiest way is to install with Creative Cloud. So you can see, I have a warning here because it says if I install again, it's going to override what I already had before. So step one out of three is to install the motion bro plugin so when we come to creative cloud which is the easiest way i would recommend for everyone we come here to stock market stock and market then we go to plugins and the plugins uh, we can just search for motion bro and uh, enter uh, you should see uh, the plugin here which is for after effect and also for premiere pro so you guys can see i already have mine installed but with anyone else, if you don't have this installed, you should just click install because it's a free plugin. So it should say free somewhere. And uh, once you have it installed, that's it for step one. It shouldn't be any other requirement. So you just minimize this. Once you have this, you can also close this. Once you have this uh, motion bro installed as step one. And step two, if you follow the link in the description, which is AE2SD, which is the plugin we are going to use to uh, create the camera animations. So basically, this is After Effects to Stable Diffusion. So it exports all of After Effects camera camera's data to the forum Stable Diffusion, which makes, which makes everything easy, um, avoiding um, the complicated keyframes from the forum. So it's also another free plugin, which we click here. And uh, if we come here, there's also a tutorial which um, could, could make things easy for you if you want to go through it. And uh, down here, you can donate anything you want to donate. Uh, if you say, I want this, and um, it's a free plugin, like I said before, but if you're willing, you can still go ahead to donate something. So you put in your email address here, uh, which I did earlier. And once you click get, it's going to, it's going to provide you, you fix your capture. And once you click get, it's going to bring you here where you have the option to download. So uh, step two will be done, which is to download AE2 to SD plugin uh, from the link in the description. And once you have it downloaded, it should go into the folder, either your downloads folder or anywhere you want to save it. So I saved mine somewhere here and you guys can see uh, this is the plugin on my side which I have already downloaded. So the plugin should, it should appear as MBR. The extension should be MBR which is uh, very, very necessary um, to be recognized in After Effects. So this will be step two. Step one was Motion Bro in your creative cloud. Step two is downloading the plugin AE2SD. And step three, which is our final step, will be to open After Effects. Um, once your After Effects is open, uh, just create a new composition. Any, any size is fine. We just need to recognize the plugin. So the way we can see this plugin in After Effects is to go to the window, extension, uh, Motion Bro 4. Motion Bro 4. Um, I already had another Motion Bro installed. But Motion Bro 4 comes with um, the plugin for Stable Diffusion. So you click on Motion Bro 4. You should have this uh, appear once you click your extension. You should see this folder here, which is AE2SD. Once you click AE2SD, maybe you guys wouldn't see the scenes here, but I have already installed this. Uh, it's the more reason why. So 
I'll take you guys through it quickly. Once you click this icon here, which you guys should see, uh, you should see this down arrow here. And uh, once you click this down arrow, you're asked to select a package. And like I said before, your file needs to be MBR, which we downloaded uh, as the plugin. So we are supposed to select the package we downloaded, which is this one here, um, AE to SD. So we select this AE to SD, open, and I already have mine installed, so um, I don't need to do it again. But uh, once you guys do this and um, you select this open, uh, you should see it loading once it's done that's it you should you should have your scenes and everything ready and i'll open a previous project i worked on which um i have already created the camera animations basically so maybe in the next tutorial i'll make a detailed explanation of how to actually start from scratch and creating a camera um, animation but this is a quick one um after installing the plugin just for you guys to see how uh, this actually works. So once you have your camera animation done, you can see when you come here back to Motion Bro, yeah, this should open. And once you are here, this is how the plugin actually works. So you can, when you click info, uh, the plugin actually shows all the properties you have animated, right? Which is translation Z, X, Y, 3D rotation, everything. And usually, uh, that's what we need in stable diffusion, right? We need all this translation Z, X, Y, you know, and everything else. So I'm going to reload the UI uh, just to get rid of this old project. Once I reload, everything will be done. Everything will be gone. And um, once we are in After Effects, there are also a few things you need to you need to um, make note of. Cause first of all, um, your frame settings will need to match up to your After Effects frame settings and also your duration uh, will need to match up to Stable Diffusion's duration. Also your frame rate will also need to match up to the forum's frame rate per second. So if it's 24, it needs to be 24 here. The next tutorial will be an in-depth explanation of how to actually get this working. We'll export the project and we'll see how everything goes. So back to After Effects, we can see we have all the animations we have actually um worked on here from the camera and the plugin actually tells you everything you animated the plugin also allows you to see your prompts which is over here as a reference once you're here you go to other here is where you can see your prompts right so here it tells you your prompts by markers usually in stable diffusion we come here and we type in our prompts right so it's the same thing we have here in After Effects uh, by using the plugin where it tells you where you can put in your prompt and um, each prompt is on each frame exactly where it is which is very 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 helpful so uh, at frame 112 122 you can find it there 122 you have your prompt and here you can either insert your prompt here or you can go to stable diffusion and insert your prompt so what happens is you only need to copy this, Control C, Stable Diffusion, clear all this, and you know you paste it here. So, which means you've already inserted your prompt in After Effects, right? So this will be in the next tutorial, actually, where we take a project from uh, start to finish. The next thing will be the animated properties, right? So in the 3D animated properties, you can see here we have um, everything we've actually animated. Uh, Z position, X rotation, Y rotation, Z rotation. So all we need to do is copy these rotations from our 3D camera to Stable Diffusion. On my rotation Z, I see I have my rotation Z here. Rotation Y, I have my rotation Y here. Rotation X, I have my rotation X here. And uh, position Z is my translation Z, right? So. For Translation Z, if I click Translation Z, I'm going to see all my animation keyframes, which is ridiculous. Only thing we need to do is to copy this and then we go to Stable Diffusion for Translation Z. We come to our keyframes. If we are in 3D, we also need to be careful of that. And uh, once we come down here, Translation Z, we just all we need to do is to Control V and copy all this. 
so we'll do this for everything else uh once we, we close this and uh we come to, so if you go to translation y if you have nothing animated um you're not gonna have anything right it's gonna be zero translation x it's gonna be zero so we copy translation z and x rotation if we click this we're gonna see everything we animated all we need to do is just copy ctrl c and uh yeah we paste it here we close this rotation y we control c stable diffusion y we paste it here and um the last one will be rotation z which is a lot of keyframes so we also copy this and uh in stable diffusion we paste this here and that's it that's it guys this is how to install the plugin which saves you so much time from actually putting in these numbers by yourself in the forum so if you're an after effects user i would highly recommend this plugin uh, to be used and have your camera animations uh, you have more control in after effects with your camera animations which then you can copy from after effects to uh, stable diffusion before so i'll make an in-depth tutorial of how to actually start a project from scratch to animate a camera and we export to also see the outcome but for now this was just a quick tutorial to help anyone out there if they find the forum very frustrating with the keyframes and if you're an after effects user i would highly highly recommend uh, to use the plugin ae to sd which is uh, very very helpful with uh, animating your camera so I hope this was helpful to everyone out there. I hope it was clear enough and um, see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.